Hey, this is Mystic, and thank you for watching another Second Life tutorial video. This video will cover my Black Dragon graphics and photo settings. To be sure, straight to the point, I turn almost everything to Ultra. But there's some fine tuning settings and some cautions I'll go over. So let's get started. First, we'll go to the Dragon in the top left corner, then click on Edit, and then click on Preferences. Once you have your preface menu up, then you will click on display. Within display, you'll see three groups of settings. Uh, you have your basic setting, advanced setting, and fine tune setting. We'll start with the basic settings first. Here you will see settings for max texture memory and my graphics card. Your graphics card will determine the quality and PC performance. If you lag on your game or your game crashes, in ultra settings, then you may want to upgrade your graphics card. These are my normal login settings for Black Dragon, uh, but I'm going to increase settings for this video. Here you can see the details increase in the water reflection. Uh, increasing this setting will be good for your beach and pool scenes. You have your max frames per second. I have those that are limited. Uh, generally have 15 avatars visible at the time. I'm going to increase my avatar surface and my complexity of other avatars. Next we have the advanced settings and here are my render settings. And here's my FXAA anti-aliasing settings. I always keep this setting on. This setting makes the edges of your Abbey smoother. When this setting is off, your Abbey's pictures and your videos will have rough pixelated edges. Now the fun stuff. Here are my standard shadow settings. I increase my shadow to sun, moon, and projectors. If I'm doing a picture or a video, I increase my close-ups to ultra and uh, keep my far and distant settings on high. Then I increase my projectors to ultra. Even with my graphics card, I experience a little lag, especially in a place like Backdrop City. But I'm generally good when I'm on a land or a skybox with low prim usage. So the more prim or average, the more laggy your system will be in Ultra. I keep this screen space ambient occlusion settings checked and use this for shadow effects. You see as I move the effect bar, it increases the shadow around my arms and neck area. If you've seen pics with the shadow ring around the Abbey, this is how they make that effect. I suggest playing around with the setting to get the desired effect you want. Don't worry about messing up because you can always click the default buttons to the right to reset your settings. Here you see what that looks like. Next we have the depth of field. This is also a good tool to use. So play around with the settings. Don't be afraid. Uh, you can always click the default to try it again. Next is the fine tuning settings. I keep my fine tuning settings at the default. I'll adjust the glow at times, but it isn't a must need to me uh, to change anything in this section. Now to take a picture, I'm going to click on Dragon, File, Snapshot. 
you'll click on the save the disk and make sure your drop down is on custom. I make sure my constraints are unchecked and use 1080 by 1080 for standard Instagram post size. And you can use your camera controls to angle the view and to, or to keep it straight. Then you click snap or click new snap to see your new view. If you want to increase the quality of your photo, then you will need to increase your width and your height. First, you'll click your constraint proportions. I suggest starting with 5000 and click on the tab key on your keyboard so the height will update. Then click save. If you don't crash, then increase the width to 6000 and so on and so on until you find the highest quality you can use until you crash. Here I'm using 12,000 and it says 75,000 kilobytes. You may say the picture is so long. Well, you can always crop the picture afterwards and still have a high definition photo of the post. Here I have a photo and you can zoom into the shot and click edit to crop and resize how you want it. After you finish your photo, you can easily reset your settings back to default. Click Dragon, Edit, Preferences, and then Display. Under the Saddle section, you can click the default buttons to the right, or you can change the settings to your preferred look. As always, I hope this video was informative and helps you with your content. Thank you for watching.